Hi there, I'm going to show you how to access your 2023 digital calendar. So the first thing you'll do, of course, is you're going to click on the link and it'll cause it to download to your downloads folder. Now I've gone ahead and moved it over to my desktop. I'm going to right click it and then I'm going to go to open with Chrome. Usually you'll be able to just click on it and it'll go right to Chrome, uh, but I do have Adobe Acrobat, so it makes it a little bit more challenging uh, and you need to add that extra step. All right, so here's your daily planner. Here are your simple instructions. Here is your table of contents that is clickable. So you're able to actually go to the different months as you need to get there and you're able to kind of move and navigate a little bit easier and then you have your goal tracker as well so you can create your goals in the form now the thing to keep in mind about this is that when you create information or you put information in um, january let's say our main goal is going to be to fill out our calendar right all right, so now it's it's in there and you can go back, you can change it if you need to, you can delete it, you can add more, um, more stuff, right? Okay, now once you have it, there's a couple of things from here that we want to make sure that um, you're able to continue to use the calendar. So the first thing is you want to go to download with your changes or without your changes. So I would suggest obviously with your changes, if you are like, well, I'm just playing around with it. I don't really wanna save anything you might wanna do without your changes. So with your changes, and then you might add Right. And so you can put whatever name you want to to it and make sure that you can find it very easily. Hit save and you'll be able to open it back up. Now, if you want to, you can print the entire manuscript or parts of the, the manuscript as you like. Uh, you can also save it as a PDF. However, if you save it as a PDF, then it's not going to have that fillable piece there as you can kind of see here it won't it won't have the that capability so when you reopen it you know you'll have to go back to your original file uh, and those things that you had added in may not have been saved uh, so we want to be sure that you are downloading the file with the new file name or you can download it with your original file name if you want to just kind of keep it all in one file okay and I'll just show you really quick over here. We have the one that I just saved. Now you could of course save it just back to this original one if you'd like. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And you should see down here this and you can still change it. And then also uh, you will still have your original file as well. So if you want to do it by months or you want to just do it all in the same file, that's completely fine. Just want to make sure that you keep that original file, maybe even separate so that if for some reason anything happens, you're able to go and access it. That is it. Thank you so much. I hope that you have a fantastic time filling in your calendar and making sure that you get those to-dos, those priorities, and those things done on a day-to-day -day basis so that you feel as though you are on top of your game. Have a great day.